Back. Great to have you here on WKYT as our new news hour continues. It's time to support your favorite Girl Scout troop and get yourself some good cookies, too, because <laughs> cookie sales are underway. Haley McGraw with the Girl Scouts is here to tell us more about it. Thank you so much. It's never hard to sell Girl Scout cookies, is oh, it? Oh, absolutely. We don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, our girls are out there in full force. They begin January 1st going door to door, taking orders in your office. Um, so if you've seen them around, it's time now to place that order and then soon in a, in a couple of weeks less than a couple of weeks we will have cookies in hand and your members really do look forward to this and they learn a lot of lessons as well in this right in the cookie sale absolutely so the biggest part of the cookie sale is that it's actually a financial literacy program for our girls so it covers a lot of those topics that they may not get other places like in the school system um, sometimes even at home so they learn things like decision making people skills money management and even things like business ethics so the these girls truly are becoming, you know, the workforce for tomorrow. And, and when you see those girls out there selling the cookies, it is evidence that Girl Scouts is going strong. Oh, absolutely, yes. So we have, you know, on top of this program that we do yearly throughout the winter, uh, this is something that helps them get prepared for the year coming up. So, you know, it is um, a program where they're learning these skills. They're also able to raise funds for things that they do, like service projects in their community. So if you see girls out there, you know, renovating, a local park bench, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, they are actually saving up their funds so they can do things like that. So it's yeah. very good work. Let's talk about the cookies. Talk mm -hmm. about the cookies. Yes, here, really. they here they are. are. The flavors this year. Yeah. So we've got our heavy hitters. We've got the lineup. Um, we've got uh, especially popular here will be our thanks a lots and lemonades mm -hmm. um, because they are a specialty to our area. So the councils around us don't carry those. Um, so it's, uh, you know, if you're out there and you see those, grab them all you can because yeah. they're special to us. <laughs> Do some and kinds so good. sell better in some areas than others? Interestingly, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so locally, the most popular one is actually the Caramel Delight. So, um, you know, it, it can go either way. It's a coconut cookie, so some people don't like that um, flavor, but that's our number one here, followed closely by our peanut butter patties and then our Thin Mints. So the Thin Mint is actually nationally the number one cookie sold, and that's including, you know, Oreos even that sell year-round. Well, and that hasn't changed since the day many, many years ago when I carried them, had them on my little red wagon going door to door. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they have stayed at the top spot. <laughs> All right, so be looking for those Girl Scouts out there. Yes, they, are. they're out there in full force. Like I said, February 1st, they'll start booth sales. So be on the lookout at your Kroger's and your Walmarts, and you'll see them popping up. All right, but thank it, you so it's much. It's always fun to place those orders because when they come in all at oh, the yeah. same time, it's so good. You can't beat it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> thank you very much.